So before I actually uh, remove the sand, I just want to go uh, and tell you exactly how I um, how I did this. So if there's anyone interested out there that would like to experiment a little, um, first off, I got a couple of rocks, pieced them together in a formation, took the uh, foam, sprayed around it. And um, once I was done spraying, I put a lot of sand around uh, areas that I wanted uh, fish to be able to swim through and also areas that I didn't want to um, pop out as much to um, restrict this from the foam from actually expanding too much. So, um, and as far as putting the little holes in here, um, I know a lot of people like to put salt, but um, I've elected to do it a little bit more of a tedious way, which is my tool of choice, a nail. So, you know, I kind of just sat here and poked it. And uh, okay, so here's the final rock. Um, I'm very happy with it, or the foam rock couple of things that I would probably do different when I do it next time is go a little bit heavier on the sand. Um, the holes that I was trying to make didn't, um, weren't, aren't as large as, as what I anticipated. So um, if I go heavier on the sand, th this area wouldn't have come down too far. It would have probably expanded outwards. Um, but that's no big deal. This is going in a, um, a 10 gallon with uh, Calerpa, um, a lot of microorganisms, you know, nothing, no, not really fish. I just wanted to try this out, see how it looked. And um, I have to say this looks friggin' awesome. You would end up paying um, probably 80 to $90 in New York for a rock like this. Just the rock, not live rock. So, again, if you're going to do this, the foam is not that heavy. So, just make sure you anchor it down with uh, some kind of rock. Or if you plan on siliconing it, that's fine. I don't, I'm not a big fan of permanently um, gluing it into a tank. So, I went with the rocks. And let me tell you, when you lift this up, you, you definitely feel it. So, it won't float away. Um, I would definitely recommend it to anybody with a larger fish tank and um, you know you don't really have the budget to go straight all live rock or just regular rock so um, you can make some really big pieces with this foam It's definitely cool. Alright, so uh, you know what? I hope this convinced some people to uh, actually try it. It's, it's fun. You'll have a blast. It takes probably two hours or so, two or three hours. And um, you know, if you want to try my method, method with uh, the poking holes, I, I highly recommend it. Um, a lot of people do the salt again. And um, you know what? You really just don't have that much control over it. So um, it's very easy to sit here, poke some holes in where you want them, where you don't want them. Makes it look very realistic. So I have to, it looks great.